Let's take a look now at Marvelous Designer's Modular Configurator. That's a really cool tool that allows you to create virtually unlimited amounts of clothing right out of Marvelous Designer. You can use that as is, or you can use it as block patterns and use it as a starting point for your own designs. So the way this works is that you can pick a style of shirt and then pick the type of sleeves you want, the type of cuffs you want, the type of collar you want, and you can mix and match and uh, swap this out. If you want to make changes, you can use this as a starting point or use it as is for your own designs. It's available for female and male characters that come with Marvelous Designer. Let's see how we use it. Let's start by opening up our library panel here on the top left and head over to avatar. And I'm going to use a male avatar here, but you can use a female one as well. You can even use a DAS avatar, but not to begin with. For the modular configurator, you have to use one of the Marvelous Designer built-in avatars. I'm going to use Henry here. Hi, Henry. How's it going? He's been with Marvelous Designer for a while, so he's, he's super eager to help me here. One other thing that I need to do, the modular configurator only works with a particular pose that we'll find in the pose section, namely the attention pose. Double click that to load that. And this is our modular configurator pose. You can switch that out to the A pose later. And then, of course, later in another video, I'm going to show you how to switch that out for a DAS avatar. So now it comes a slightly hidden bit in which we need to switch one of our windows over to the modular configurator. I'm going to use my library window here, switch that to modular configurator, and then we get these three folder options here. Man for a male avatar, woman for a female avatar, and folded shirt is something that's a standalone folded shirt item that you can put on a shelf. So very cool. Check that out. It's very, very exciting how they've done that. I'm going to pick man, and then in here I will see multiple subfolders here. I can make them jackets, polos, polo shirts, regular shirts, t-shirts, like these are kind of formal shirts here, t-shirts and a trench coat as well. Very nice. I might stick with the polo shirt here. Double click that and I'll see I get three designs. And depending on what option you pick, you'll have more or less designs. Each of these designs will have several patterns that we can try and switch out. Let me go with this raglan design here, polo raglan in the middle, double click that. And then in the 2D pattern window, you can see that these gray boxes pop up. And what will happen here is that each of these options, this is a color option, base garment option, and these are the sleeves here, and they're going to be populated into these gray boxes here. So let's start with the collar. I'll just pick this one here, double click that, and then my man gets a collar, and this is where the actual pattern pieces end up. And everything's going to be sewn together with symmetry as well. Um, like this one here, if I use the first one, the body raglan regular, double click that, you can see that the front and the back is being filled out like that. But you can now go and switch this out to a different design. So if you wanted to try this one here with the side zit, you do that, and then you can see that the pattern changes. But it'll still be sewn together to the arms as well as the collar or any other pieces that this design suggests. Like the arms, you can now go and try a long sleeve design. Or if you fancy that is not what the shirt wants to look like, you can go and double click the short sleeves and then you have a different design. So this is really powerful and it means you don't have to do this grunt work over and over again to start something like a basic design. You can go and use this as is for your character or you can make changes to it. And I'll show you in a minute how to, how to do that. But yeah, very powerful. And it's designed so that you have a fast starting point on your own designs. So you can make the sleeves longer. You can put details in there, whatever. This, of course, pokes through. Uh, the simulation will take care of that. So if you press space bar, then it'll go and get simulated on your avatar and it looks much nicer. There we go. This is quite nice. If you now think, hey, maybe the sleeves could do with elongating a little bit, I can go and close my, my window down here and give me a little bit more space. You can go and have a look at them. These are them. And if you go press Z on the keyboard and you pick this bottom bit here, you can see that these things actually have symmetry. So if you left click and drag this, you can see that both these pieces are being elongated here. So to put a definite value on there and not wiggle around, you can hold this, the shift key to constrain that a little bit. And then while you left click and drag with the shift key held down, you can also press the right mouse button on top of that. And then you get the move distance window pop up. So maybe I want to make this exactly 10 centimeters longer. And this is what that looks like. We simulate to have a look at what this what this does. And maybe that's the kind of shirt design I want. Maybe the arms flare out a little bit too much at the bottom here. 
So again, symmetry is active. You can just go and use this line here, right click and choose change length. And maybe we're going to go and make that uh, perhaps 30 centimeters. And I don't want this to start at the start or end at the end. I'm going to use both angles so that the line gets shortened in the middle. Uh, press OK. And that makes the sleeves flare less here. And re-simulate. Check it out. That looks rather nice. So there we go. That's my raglan shirt with side zits. And it almost didn't cost me any time to make that happen. So take a look at some of the other patterns. It's really, really interesting to see what designs you can come up with there and also what designs you can begin with to make your own. In the next video, let's have a look at how to make this thing fit on a Genesis 9 character. Stay tuned for that.